Shanghai is the second largest city in the world and is in fact a budding metropolis. It is one of the most fascinating cities and is becoming a global center for business and has a reputation for incredible shopping and some of the most fashionable people in all of Asia. Every serious shopper has Shanghai at the top of their list, including myself. A historic city that has been bustling since the 5th century. Shanghai is in fact still growing to this day. New housing developments continue to pop up. And where there are new homes to be found? Well, you can also find a growing interest in interior design. Chinese styled furniture and Chinese antiques are a coveted item by designers and decorators around the globe. When you're visiting Shanghai, there's no better place if you're looking for antiques or if you want to learn a little bit more about Chinese styled furniture than Henry's Antique Warehouse. This was actually originally used for was for the farmers sowing their seeds. Taipans, everyone's different, they're all unique. Different provinces have different types of designs. They fit in a suitcase, which is a real bonus. And you can usually pick these up for somewhere under 100, 400 RMB. Henry, it's great to be here. Tell us a little bit about Chinese styled furniture and why all of a sudden we're seeing such a pop popularity. Everybody wants this. You can definitely personalize a piece, and I think that's what makes Chinese styled furniture so attractive is that they fit into every style of home. Ah, a kitchen cupboard from the Qing Dynasty. These are great little pieces. You don't need a lot of them in your home, but just one piece makes a nice statement. These little panels move up and down for air circulation. It's a beautiful little piece. This piece was not necessarily used for bad shoppers, <laughs> but it was actually used to hang your robes on. So it would make a great wardrobe hanger in the bedroom. Give us some tips for buying antiques. How do we know we're going to be buying a good quality and a real antique? Because the so find a really reputable antique dealer, take Henry shopping. <laughs> Luxman Furniture Industries is one of my favorite furniture stores in all of Shanghai. And no one makes furniture better than the Italians. These Italians have set up shop here in China. So if you're looking for high-end, luxurious furniture, then this is the store that you'll definitely want to visit. Luxman Furniture has been serving Shanghai's most prestigious clientele for about 10 years now. What sets your style, your furniture apart from all your competitors? I think the most important thing is our design and, uh, our, and uh, technique from combined the furniture technique and uh, clothing technique together. I think that's the most important thing. Shopping for furniture? Know your prices before you travel. Go to your local high-end furniture store, get a feel for what you might have to spend on a dining room set or a bedroom set that you'll want to take home with you. Know your prices, be confident in your prices before you even leave home.
If you're well prepared, there's no telling what treasures you'll bring back home with you. Okay, it's official. I'm the ultimate shopper. I have even brought home a sink. Yes, a sink. These vessel sinks I could not resist. The designer in me knows that these are between four and nine hundred dollars back at home, but in Shanghai I got them for thirty dollars. Yes, great ceramic sinks, all sorts of different patterns. I try to bring home one or two every trip. Not only is Shanghai a bustling business hub, but it's also a cultural center. It just has so many treasures to discover and to share. And it's the treasures we find on our travels that make your home special. Those are the decorating items that will tell the world about who we are and how special we are. This is why Shanghai always has a special place in my heart.